So the term business intelligence um, is used pretty broadly to describe a set of technologies that, that help companies integrate and analyze their data more effectively and really roll things up to an aggregate level and make more informed business decisions using their data. So business intelligence can help companies be more effective by connecting people to the information, making the information more accessible and more relevant to the strategies that are, are aligned with their business. So really BI empowers people to connect to that data and interact with it and identify trends and patterns that will be in the data that you might not otherwise be able to identify. So some of the benefits of business intelligence are it really helps companies gain a competitive advantage by providing and improving visibility into all aspects of their business across multiple systems, not just looking at one particular area of their business. It also helps to reduce customer reporting costs and alleviate um, some of the stress that IT organizations are under um, to fulfill different data requests for information. Um, in addition, it also helps to eliminate some of the costs um, um, that are incurred when you make bad decisions on, on some of the data that maybe is inaccurate or incomplete. And finally, um, BI really helps companies uncover potential business issues in their data um, that could potentially be fraud or data anomalies, uh, potentially um, some unusual purchase patterns, for instance, um, that can really help companies save costs and, and reduce a lot of waste. So a typical BI solution really involves integrating a, a data warehouse and bringing all the information into this data warehouse and then reporting off of it, either through an OLAP cube or other types of BI technologies. But what this technology really sets out to do is to integrate all of the, the high-level important business decisions Get those all in one place so we can go in and, and look at that data in a scorecard or a dashboard, um, maybe using some KPIs that, that indicate where the problems really are in the data, um, really comparing different types of forecasts and goals. Also using some data mining technologies to help predict um, what could happen in the future by looking at all of that historical data.